Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about why I am actually really glad that I ate a vegan diet for around six years, even though it ended up destroying my health in so many different ways holistically. And if you don't know all the different reasons, you can click the video up above where I talk about that in another video in way more detail. So before I go on to the six different amazing things that I managed to gain from the vegan diet that will be with me for the rest of my life. I first wanna say we have in the world with the majority of people that they label certain experiences as negative or bad. But to be honest, that can be a very disempowering, negative way to perceive certain experiences that go on within our lives. So yes, certain times I say experience is positive or negative, but my personal preference, and this is based from my own personal beliefs and the way that I prefer to do things, is I prefer to see every experience as just a life lesson or a beneficial learning experience that allows us to grow and evolve in ways that we wouldn't have if we hadn't had whatever had occurred in our life that is so-called negative or bad. But so many people in life prefer to disempower themselves and be a victim and say, poor me, why me, blame other things and hate on people and just see things in a very negative way, in a doom and gloom way and it just has a whole negative effect on your whole human experience and how you feel and it's not beneficial for you in any way. So you can empower yourself with any experience to see the silver lining in whatever has gone on for you that is very challenging emotionally and that may turn your life upside down and so on. So I hope that just helps you to get to more of a positive perception on challenges that you may have go on in your life that you've had go on in the past. So the number one thing that was so good about the vegan diet, if I had not been eating a vegan diet, I would have not, just around a year ago, been hanging out with a group of vegans at a beach food meetup, and then my friend seeing this girl and going over to her that was playing a guitar, and then he told me to come over, and then that girl ended up being my girlfriend. And if I had not been eating a vegan diet, I would have not met her because at the time I was eating a lot of durian. And he went over to her, so I speak to her, said my friend eats a lot of durian. She's like, oh, I want to meet him. So that's how we ended up meeting. And my girlfriend that I've been with almost a year is the most ideal, compatible girlfriend that I've ever had in my whole entire life. So I am really, really glad for that reason that I was on a vegan diet diet and then number two is for the first time in my life when switching to a vegan diet it made me the most conscious person around my food choices even though a lot of the vegan brainwashing and programming that I allowed to happen to myself had programmed me with a lot of misinformation saying that a vegan diet is the most best diet for humans it's the best for the environment, it's the best for your health and so on. But even so, with all of that going on, it has made me become the most conscious person around my food choices. So for example, when I have gone back to animal foods, which I did last year in November, I was obviously aware of factory farming. And I am not pro factory farming in any way, shape or form. I always buy my animal food sources from pasture raised farms where they give the animals no antibiotics, no hormones, they give them the best life that they possibly could have whilst they are alive in this amazing 3D reality. And if I hadn't gone through the vegan diet, I wouldn't necessarily have learned about factory farming and pasture raised animals. And pasture raised animals, when you're actually paying certain companies to actually provide you with these type of animal foods, it's been shown through some studies done out there, and I put a link down below for an article that talks about this, that actually pasture raised animals actually lower greenhouse gas emissions and actually improve the soil on our earth and actually improve our environment in many different ways. And number two, it made me learn so many different amazing beneficial things for myself and other people because I am a health coach. I have been for around six years and I've helped so many people resolve so many different health issues mentally and physically, holistically 
through many different things, not just diet. And the thing is, on my vegan journey, I had so many ups and downs where I'd run into this deficiency and then this health issue and this symptom. So then I would be searching for other things outside of the vegan diet to help resolve those things. So I learned about amazing things such as ice baths, cold showers, the Wim Hof breathing method, calisthenics, the list just goes on and on and on. So I learned all these amazing practices and tools and other various things that have a time and place to be used that benefit me and many other people that do these things. So if I had not deteriorated on a vegan diet and had this roller coaster up and down over those six years, I wouldn't necessarily found those things, would I? No. Because if I've been thriving on a vegan diet the whole time and I found just a whole food plant-based diet was working for me, I wouldn't necessarily gone looking elsewhere for other things to make the vegan diet work. But obviously, inevitably, that unsustainable malnourishing diet did end up deteriorating me. But that's all good, because like I said, I wouldn't have learnt all of these different things. And the next one is, I met so many different amazing conscious people through the vegan movement. I went to certain vegan festivals and certain vegan meetups, and also I got to meet a lot of people that would watch my YouTube channel on my different vegan videos that they would watch. And then they tell me, oh, I'm in the area that you live in, because I always make people aware of where I am in the world, which is normally Thailand. And then I get to meet up with them. And me, because I'm a very open-minded person, I never on people for eating animal foods whatsoever. I was never one of these like dogmatic activist preachers out there that just like really didn't like anyone that was eating animal foods whatsoever. I just always seemed to attract people towards me that were not those types of vegans whatsoever. I would just attract many different conscious people that were conscious about like conscious relationships, conscious living, minimalist living, living life as a digital nomad and many other things. So yeah, that is just so, so good. And I'm still friends with so many of those people because guess what? My vegan friends do not on me or do not like me due to me not being on a vegan diet anymore because they're not those types of low vibrational judgmental vegans which is obviously a very good thing because I believe and I think this is the best way for anyone to be we have a world where we have so many things separating people religion is one of those main things and we just don't need more things separating people we need more things bringing people closer together so I think it's the best to actually not just like people and be friends with them just because they're on a specific diet. But as we know, there is a huge movement with the vegan cult where it's like, if you're not part of the group because you're not eating the way they're eating and following the vegan lifestyle, then you're out of the group, which is just like a religious group. It's just not the most conscious way to be, at least in my personal opinion. And this one is a huge one. The next one I'm moving on to. If I had not been on a specific vegan diet, which was a raw vegan diet, known as the 80-10-10 diet, when I was living back in England, I would have never, I would imagine, so at least, who knows, it might not have been like this, but if I'd not been on that diet and eating a high fruit-based diet, then I wouldn't have necessarily looked into Thailand and found out it is a very popular destination for fruit lovers, and then I wouldn't have necessarily sold up everything that I did within six months and then moved to Thailand, which I have been here for over five years now, which it is the most ideal place for me to live in the world at this current moment. The cost of living is very low. The weather is hot all year round. The Thai people are so amazing, so calm. They follow the Buddhist way. And life here is just an absolute dream in every single way. And then I wouldn't have had all of the amazing experiences that I've had here that have pushed me to become the greatest version of myself alongside all of the challenges that allowed me to be the person that I am today. So it's just absolutely amazing. And then the last one that I wanna move on to is if I'd not been on the vegan diet and my health had deteriorated and I hadn't shared it on YouTube, I wouldn't be making a lot of other vegans out there that are not thriving on a vegan diet aware that the vegan diet is not the most optimal diet that they necessarily think that it is. And that it is actually a malnourishing, unsustainable diet that so many people 
that to try and even make it work that to learn from all the scientists and learn all the nutritional information eat the best whole food plant they start they still don't get it to work and then i wouldn't be making ex-vegan interview videos with so many ex-vegans that have not been thriving and i wouldn't be able to share so much information on the vegan diet just not being the best diet for so many different reasons and making people aware of monocrops and why they're so bad and how the vegan diet is really funding that whole type of agriculture movement and how it's devastating on the environment and all of the other information that I'm sharing to expose the vegan diet as much as possible. So as you could see, there's a huge silver lining from my own personal experience. Yes, I suffered so badly from that vegan diet and it was such an emotionally intense experience to go through, but it has benefited me in all those ways and so many other different ways. And like I said, just as with any change in life, I had to go through those. I needed those experiences because without them, I wouldn't be who I am today and I wouldn't be where I am at. So I am so truly grateful that I went through all of that. And I'm so grateful for every intense so-called negative or bad experience that I have been through. And once you can get to a point where you empower yourself and no longer see all of your challenges and negative stuff as a bad thing, you're gonna start freeing yourself and you're gonna start feeling better within your mind and body holistically. It's gonna make you a better person, a nicer person to be around, and it's just gonna benefit you in so many different ways. So if you're someone that was on the vegan diet and it destroyed your health, don't be angry about it. Don't regret it. Don't even necessarily hate on vegans because guess what? It's just lowering your vibration and just having a negative impact on you and it necessarily isn't benefiting you except for one way, which is to wake up to the reality that it's not the best thing to be doing that because it's not serving you in your highest form and it's not serving you to the best way that it possibly could. So yeah, that's it from me in this video. If you wanna share what you gained from the vegan diet, after it destroyed your health and you got off of it and went back on to animal foods, let us know down below. If you like the video, like it down below, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos like this from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.